Hi, welcome. I hope everything is well with you. So if you don't know me, my name is Paulo and I'm here today to explain you how to add fake clouds to your drone footage or plane footage and move the clouds according to the video. So let's jump in the computer and see how you can do it. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve with the edit page open and this is what I'm gonna try to explain you how to do. So this and this cloud are fake. They are not from the original footage and I added them and this is this is the final result over here and as you can see the original footage doesn't have those clouds as you can see it doesn't have the clouds and here we have the clouds so let's go over here let's resize this a little bit and let's jump to into fusion for doing that we come here select the clip and go to the fusion tab and as soon as we go to the fusion tab this will appear so this is the media in it's our footage and this is our footage going again to the timeline first thing let's disconnect this because if you are trying to create movement movement in space you need to work in 3d and for doing that we have to put this in 3d we have to use a plane so it's an image plane 3d and we put it here and connect it over here and if we try to connect this to our media out you cannot do it because every time you are using with 3d image or shapes you have to use a render 3d so let's put the render 3d and let's connect it to here and now if we connect it you see uh, the image in our viewer and this is the entire screen and this is the video so let's increase the size of the video for doing that we come here to the image plane 3d we go to transform here and over here to scale and we can now increase it until it fills the entire screen so it's something like that and now if we play it it's in 3d now it's in 3d space and nothing is different so let's go to the beginning now if you want to move in space you're going to use we have to use a camera for doing that let's add a camera over here and let's connect our camera to our pipeline output to this output and immediately it put a merge 3d and everything disappears from here so let's select the merge 3d and press one to see it in the viewer one and let me reduce the size and as you can see the camera is in the plane so you don't see anything so let's move the camera and now you are starting to see let me resize this a little bit for doing resizing is control or um, command and your um, mouse wheel for resizing so let's continue and okay let's put it in our screen okay so it's done now we are working in 3d space we have our camera and our video over here now you have to put the um, clouds somewhere between the camera and the screen if you want to see them so let's add a cloud that we, I'm gonna add it's a PNG file so let's put our file over here and let's rename it for doing that press f2 and let's type cloud one and this is let's rename also this is the video okay now we have to use also an image plane 3d and connect this to over here and connect this to the merge and here is our cloud because it's in the same plane as the screen you don't see everything so let's select the image plane and move this somewhere around here and let's put it a little bit to the side over here let's go to the transform and let's scale this also so let's increase a little bit of the cloud and move it around also let me put a little bit down so the cloud is somewhere around here let's go to the material let's reduce a little bit of the opacity as you can see it's reducing 
let's change a little bit of the color let's be a little bit more gray and okay now let's change something that is very important from so select the render 3d one come here to the render type and select OpenGL and this is a, a, a little bit faster to render and the quality is, is a little bit better as you can see you, you can see here this around the cloud because the cloud is not very with very good quality so <laughs> this is a, a PNG that I downloaded from the internet so bear with me because <laughs> this is not a very good cloud but now you have one cloud over here. If you want to duplicate the cloud, select both clouds, control or um, command C and control or command V, place it around here and let's connect it to our merge 3D. Now you have two clouds, one on top of the other. So with the second cloud, let's come here, F2 and rename it cloud two. So it's done. Now select the image plane of the cloud two and let's move this to here and a little bit back and something like this. So now we have the clouds, but if we play it, you see the, the background moving and the clouds are in the same place so you can notice that it's a fake cloud so let's add the movement to the clouds let's go to the first frame go to the camera go to the transform and here in the Z add the keyframe go to the image plane of the cloud one go to the transform and add here keyframes to the X Y and Z do the same for the the second cloud and now let's animate this let's go here near the end and somewhere around here doesn't matter the place select the camera again and now go to here to the Z and go and put the camera real close over here now go to the image plane of the cloud one move the cloud so let's put the cloud somewhere around here do the same for the other cloud and i'm gonna put this one a little bit over here and this one a little bit over here now if we go to the beginning and if we play it you will see the clouds opening and we're gonna pass over here let's see if it's enough if it's not enough we go to the last cloud it's not enough so stop go to the beginning let's in this one move it a little bit over here go to here where we have the keyframes and over here let's move it a little bit more and let's come because the cloud is somewhere around here okay I think it's done so let's play it it's rendering and it's 3d so it's hard to render but as you can see we are going and passing through the clouds we are real close to the cloud and of course if you want to do it even better you come here where it where we are passing the cloud we come a little bit somewhere around some frames before and add go to the material materials opacity select the keyframe now go where we cross the cloud somewhere around here and reduce the opacity completely and now if we play it you will notice that the opacity reduces and it's a little bit better so now if you go to the edit page and go to the beginning and hit play you can see we are going through the clouds here we go again through the clouds 
and it's done. So as you could see, it's an easy task to do and I hope you don't have any doubts, but if you have, just leave them down below in the comments that I will have the pleasure to answer you. Or if you have any questions related to DaVinci Resolve, I will try to answer them all. And I hope you learned something today with this video. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button that helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And hit that notification bell to be notified next time I will launch a video. Until then, bye.